In this video, I want to show you how to figure out the domain and range of a function just by using its graph. Now, remember that the domain of a function comes from the collection of all the inputs that we could potentially put into a function, whereas the range of a function is the collection of all the outputs of that function, so anything it produces. To do this with just a graph, you want to figure out, well, what are the inputs and what are the outputs? And this essentially comes from the x and y values. So when we get down to determining the domain, we'll be looking at the x-axis quite a bit. When we get to determining the range of that function, we'll be looking at the y-axis, or the y-values. Let me show you how this process will work. So suppose I have just some ordinary function, and I'm really trying to figure out what its domain is. Since the domain is concerned with the x-values, I might imagine some point on the graph and then trace it all the way back to the x-axis to see what input was used. Now I could do this for several different points on the graph and always trace them back to see where they came from. I could do this over and over and over again. Now you can see that the more points I use, it actually starts to fill in uh, values on my x-axis. In fact, I could even start using points over here, and you could see how these would get filled in. Watch out for things like arrows, which means that the graph continues on. So as I go to shade in more and more values, you can see that I could potentially shade in the entire x-axis. If I look at all of the values that I've shaded in, this is how I can write out my domain. So all my numbers between negative infinity to infinity have been shaded in, so that is my domain. Now we end up doing a similar process for figuring out the range. Only this time when I pick out a point, I'll be tracing it back to the y-axis. You can see what point it ends up there maybe a point over here, and maybe another point over here. So just like before, I start to shade in my y-axis for different values. Now this time, I don't shade in quite as much because there's simply no graph to trace back to. So this part would not get shaded in. I could shade in the very end of it right there. So something like this, it looks like the range goes from zero all the way to infinity. So it's a matter of tra tracing it back to the correct axis and figuring out what values are there. Let's do this for a couple of other functions and see if we can determine their domain and their range. Let's do the first one. So notice how I have quite a curvy graph, and it has two arrows on the end, indicating that it goes on in both directions forever and ever. Let's try and figure out the domain by looking at individual points and tracing them back to the x-axis, thinking of all the individual points and how they would shade that in. You can see for this one, I would end up shading in everything on my x-axis, which indicates that my domain is all real numbers from negative infinity to infinity. All right, now let's look at the range. So think of taking a point and tracing it back to the y-axis. What y-values would you go back to? Start shading in your y-axis. Remember that those arrows indicate that things keep on going. Now in this one I wasn't able to shade in anything above 2 because there was simply no graph to trace back to. So my range, this one goes from negative infinity all the way up to 2. Remember to keep these intervals for with the uh, smaller numbers on the left and the larger numbers on the right. So from negative infinity all the way up to 2. All right, let's look at one more. 
Okay, in this graph, I know that it does go on in this direction forever, but there's no arrow on this end, so it actually stops. So first, let's grab some points and bring them back to the x-axis and determine our domain. Let's see, so I'd start shading in everything from negative at 4, it looks like. And since there's an arrow on the end, that guy would keep going. So my domain from negative 4 all the way to infinity. Range, let's take these back to the y-axis. So looks like we'd start at maybe negative 4, shade in everything above that. And since this arrow indicates that it keeps going, I, I, I can feel free to shade in even beyond uh, further. So my range, this is from negative 4 to infinity. So remember, look at the appropriate axis in order to determine your domain and range, and see really what you need to shade in.